Hello everybody, my name is Parak, and in today's video I was asked to make a Blood Awakening Dual Blades build. I thought I did, but I guess not, so I'm definitely going to do that. Here is my augment setup, I just threw these together, I already had all the pieces. Shouldn't be too too hard to get, you should probably have most of these by now. I've got a Berserk 2 Talisman with a 3 and a 1 slot, and Item Prolonger 3, which is nice, it's a good extra. Here are the skills and decorations of course, all these green numbers here are from decorations. It's not too bad of a set, there are some things I'm missing on here that I wanted to have, but since I'm not using Heaven's or Heaven Scent, I have to actually get some sharpness, so Handicraft 4, Master's Touch 3, at least that's what I used to run on my uh, Berserk 1, as you can see right here, Handicraft 4 with Master's Touch 3, so I'm just going to copy that one. But I think for in today's video, we're going to go take on a Furious Rajang. I also had people ask what my dogs are using, I guess I'll show it. Um, this is just what my dogs use. If I'm using elemental on them, which you do if you want to do big damage with it, then I use the element attack up. If not, I'll change the element attack up and attack small for status up instead. But that's just what my dogs use, as well as the, uh, the scroll, yeah, blitz scroll. I can swap this between that and flurry, as well as the, uh, heal blade scroll? Yeah, heal blade scroll. It'll heal you if you're close to him, as well as dual bladed chains. It's just the meta, it does so much damage. But I'm actually gonna swap them to my cats today because I'm using dual blades. I usually like to have double cats with my dual blades. Right, so generally speaking, I don't touch Blood Awakening uh, DBs. I have thought about it before, I just don't think it's worth it. You have to spend so much on sharpness. And I know you can use Iron Shine Silk, but it's honestly too risky to jump out of uh, Berserk in a lot of these cases because the monsters deal a lot of damage at 300. For those that aren't at 300, the monsters deal a lot of bloody damage, so it's not really worth it, in my opinion. Ah, oh, yeah, that's still gonna hit me. That was unlucky. That was probably the worst start I've had in a long, long time, but we got, uh, Anomaly Blight off that attack at least, so it's not too, too bad. You can also put, like, Evasion stuff on if you have, um, Heaven Sent instead, because you get a lot of slots back from not having the Sharpness stuff, so it's definitely nice to have. Also, I think you can't... You don't usually break things too quickly with dual blades, so it makes it a little bit hard to actually activate Blood Awakening. Also gonna swap here and then we'll beat the Bloodlust. Oh, okay. I shouldn't have made it out of there, but that's fine. There. There we go. That's Bloodlust beaten. Cat just wasted the heal for some reason. I don't know why he actually healed there, because uh, we weren't even half health, let alone low. But that's fine. Slammerino. I'm just building up some uh, wire bug like a uh, mounting damage, because we are going to need a mount at some point, because I'm going to be hitting his feet a lot, which is not a Master's Touch spot. That was so unlucky that he went for my cat. <laughs> like, so unlucky, but that's fine. Because, uh, definitely wouldn't have hit me. Mmm, this, this is a really, really interesting hunt. I never get hit by any of this, but that's fine. Especially with dual blades, but that's okay. Oh, no, not a stagger. Okay, that's fine, that works. Yeah, what a chaotic start. <laughs> I genuinely never usually get hit by any of what I just got hit by, so... That's interesting to say the least. But, uh... Yeah. Back to Blood Awakening Dual Blades. I feel like it's not that needed. Dual Blades already does so much damage, so you'd much rather have the comfort. I don't know. People will like what they like, I guess. Maximize the damage, even though you can't maximize it properly, because... <laughs> as I said, it's not great at breaking parts on its own. I think you could run double dog if you want, but again, that's also not really worth it because you do enough on your own. And Cat can still give you knockdowns and stuff. <laughs> he almost just got away from that if he just took too long. Alright, we demon mode. Oh. Okay, that was worth it. I thought I might have gotten um, Bloodlust back in a couple hits there. But I've actually been doing a decent job at hitting his head here, so our sharpness is looking okay. I definitely still want to go for a mount soonish, and I messed that up again. Wow. That's fine. Oh yeah, for those curious as well, <laughs> I had a pretty bad day yesterday, I'm not even going to lie. I haven't really been talking about personal life at all, but uh, yeah. Icing on the cake, basically I've had to pay for something stupidly expensive at least once a week this week, or this month, and that has sucked. <laughs> Sucks when you have those months where everything just keeps going wrong, but it's fine. So, yesterday basically, went to go home from uh, from work, like proper work, and 
my phone actually fell, like, out of its pocket. Out of its, like, sleeve, I guess. Because I'm the kind of person that uses things until they break, essentially, and... It's got a very, very bad phone case. It's basically not even a case. And my phone fell on the floor. The corner actually hit the floor for once, and the entire screen is now black. It's like, ah, uh, okay. Like, the screen tear gradually went up throughout the day. And I woke up this morning. I don't even think the alarm's gonna go off. I don't think it turns on properly anymore. Which is just how bad the screen tear's gotten. But, uh, yeah, my phone's cooked. <laughs> so, probably go replace that at work today, because, uh, I kind of need a phone. <laughs> it's kind of important. Uh, but yeah. Hopefully it picks up, because I'm so over having to pay for things, like, once a month. It's just, like, a couple thousand dollars down the drain. For no particular reason. It wasn't even that it was, like, a, a mistake, either. I usually do what I did with the phone, and it doesn't fall, but just decided to fold today. Or yesterday, I guess. But yeah, hopefully your yours month has been better. Right. Oh, I counted so early, and it missed anyway. It's fine. No, 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 no. There. Okay. Oh, and it's it's not to ask for like donations or anything. I have plenty of money to just go get it. Just sort of bring it up, because I generally don't talk about personal stuff at all. Because I feel like it's not that needed. I'm kind of just playing Monster Hunter for y'all. Oh, no, 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 Get him. There we are. Oh. Ah, I tried to hop through it. Yep. Oh, I shouldn't have made it out of there. But we take those. I shouldn't have made it out of that either. God damn. Getting some luck now. No! Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I almost bounced into the grab. Uh, that's scary. But I'm, mm, I was pressing spiral slash that entire time, but that's fine, game. Come on, man. I was pressing it that entire time. Oh, my goodness gracious. Let's go to the right so we don't bounce. Nope. Hit his feet. I guess I didn't... Oh, I did have to sharpen, right? Because I did it uh, to begin with. Or well, when we got the mount, that is. Okay. I kind of expected to see 400s on this lad, but I think we got up to like 330. Or oh, six minutes. <laughs> it's a couple minutes slower than normal, but that's fine. It was decent enough. As I said, it's it's just more damage on dual blades, but I feel like it's not needed. Dual blades already does so much damage without needing blood awakening, and you saw there it took what two, three minutes, so roughly a third to half the fight to actually activate it. Which is not the most ideal thing in the world. Uh, I like to have more consistency than that. Well everyone, that was trying out a Blood Awakening Dual Blades build. Of course I used Berserk with it, because why not? Also, it's just the easiest thing to fit with it. Since you can't really run Heaven Sent and Blood Awakening because they use the same pieces. It went pretty well. It went about as well as I expected. What, a 33% uptime? 33 to 66% uptime on it? It's not too bad. As always though, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.